Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I've got a really interesting concept to share with you, something that has to do with depressurization, and something I'd like to call the pressure cannon. Now this is at extremely early stages, and you're gonna understand how this system has some serious limitations, but at the same time, could be pretty cool if used in the right situation. So I'll go to the little bit of blueprint and I'll show you what's going to happen here. So inside the cannon we have this pressurized cell that is going to be blocked up by one block like here. So you can see this area would be pressurized and we have the pipes to pipe in whatever resources we wanted to. So say for instance we could do a sort of explosive shotgun spray by placing a number of different components in like so. They would pump this area full of them and then it becomes such a deadly sort of waste of materials you delete this, out they go launching through the barrel using the depressurization effect and off into the target. Now it sounds like quite an exciting idea and when I first thought of this or was messing around with the concept I was like wow this could be a really cool weapon. But I'm going to show you just what happens. So first of all we have the chamber in here itself. So we're going to load this up just with a simple sort of explosive block. Actually let's not start with an explosive, let's start with some cobalt ore. So we'll place two of these guys inside here using the object spawning menu and we'll spawn another one in here now what's really cool about this is the velocities that it allows these objects to get up to so i want you to pay really attention to the right or the middle sort of screen as i launch these you can just see how much power they actually put into the objects and what made me even more excited is they actually penetrate through this armor without making a din and if this was a ship it would mean that the situation would exist where these parts would be floating around loosely inside. So if we used explosives, that means we could technically blow the ship out from inside. We could actually blow the enemy ship up from inside their own hull if we followed it up with missiles and machine gun fire. Something very cool to actually have a think about. Now let's actually load this up with something a little bit different. Now when I was first testing the different sorts of shells ideas, I really thought it could be a cool idea, but I'll, sh I'll show you exactly why it's not that amazing. If you remember some time ago, the actual explosive block would explode on impact, but the problem is they fixed that quite a, well, quite a while ago they fixed it, so it doesn't actually explode on impact, because my idea was to have a massive shotgun blast, if you remember, like before. Now if you pay attention to the screen again, you'll see it zap past me and into the target, once again lodging itself somewhere within the actual armour of the ship. I don't think I'll be able to find it, it's probably penetrated right through and just kept going due to the velocity and the size of the actual object. But it didn't actually explode and that was a little bit annoying, so that means you'd have to follow it up with machine gun fire. Like I said before, we've got some rocket pods. Now I wanted to take this to the next step and I thought the next step would to actually try to attach one of these objects to another object to propel the larger object with a larger warhead into the target. But weight drastically affects how the pressurization is actually going to move these objects. So it's going to affect this object, but since it's attached to this, we're going to really have to see what it actually does. So to save you the actual hassle of me loading up, I've just loaded one of these small rounds into the chamber of the cannon. And you can see we've got two landing gears and we've got a little bit of a metal sort of tube just to give it that missile torpedo sort of shape. And we're going to launch it and I'll show you exactly what happens. Now this is going to be a little bit anticlimactic. So we're selecting the object, we're turning off our perpendicular sort of thing. There we go. And you can see how it's propelled the object but so slow that it'd be absolutely useless at a target. It's not even stabilized the actual weapon system itself. So the main problem here is we'd have to reduce weight to actually get that up to a speed where it could be dangerous. So let's see what we can do to adapt this warhead and try to turn it into something a little bit more dangerous and a bit more effective than this piece of junk at the moment. So for the final test, I've loaded it up with a sort of scatter sort of shell. We've got a whole variety of different sort of weights of actual projectile. And I'm gonna put a cap on the end like so. So that's gonna begin pressurizing in the chamber and for a target, I've got little Henry out here that we're going to line a little bit better up. So we're going to go up a little bit and we're just going to aim him just a bit higher up and we'll just see what this sort of scatter sort of effect of shells actually does to a much smaller ship so we're going to have to be able to unplug the barrel. And there is other ways of doing this. You can do this with a door or a grinder to grind this panel off. And in three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> Very interesting results. Now I'm guessing from that sound that Henry has actually got these blocks actually jammed inside him. Let's give him a little bit of a fly. Yes, you can actually hear these blocks inside him. Let's pop up the front. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, now that is that is a cool sort of idea for a weapon. Maybe we'll just do one more test and see if we can repeat the same effect, but 
pack the interior of the ship with explosives instead. So if these actual ingots got in here, imagine if there's explosives rattling around here where someone was trying to fire. One shot would blow that whole thing up. You can just see how it's compacting themselves in. Wow, just so cool. I did think this weapon was going to be very effective, but now I see this, it could be quite cool indeed. So hopefully this will be the actual final test with this machine until I develop it a little bit further. Now we've got a load of explosives. We're going to put the uh, pressurized sort of lock in place. So that block is now going to pressurize that environment and we'll fire this thing at Henry and just see exactly what happens when the block gets stuck inside. So this is what's happening on the larger ship scale as well. I think it's a lot easier to illustrate it when it hits a smaller ship. So let's release and we should see them flying towards it. <gasps> wow. Wow. Okay, so what must have happened here? So it hit that, cut the engine off, shredded through everything. So they must have detonated by hitting one of these internal components. But what excites me even further is it fired through that, hit the secondary target and penetrated through the secondary target and it could have just kept going. This could be, this could be amazing. Pressurized cannon. There we go. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's inspired you to have a mess around with maybe pressurizing your own sort of cannon. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.